Hi Jamaica and hello friends of Jamaica. I'm Judith Hyatt for Good News Jamaica. I want to talk with you today about COVID-19 in Jamaica, but we're going to talk about it from a different angle. You've been getting a lot of news in the media about COVID-19, but let's, let's look on it from another perspective. So come, let's walk with me. My granny used to say, one hand can clap. Translated in standard English, one hand cannot clap. True. The translation is, it takes a team to achieve a common goal. You cannot do it alone. When have you ever had a crisis and thought, this is way too much for me to manage on my own. You needed help so much that you would clutch on an offer for help, even from a stranger. So four weeks ago, now it almost seems like a couple months ago, my world shifted as I started to experience a wave of emotions. They were all stemming from the direct impact on Jamaica of the COVID-19 pandemic crisis that has now arrested the world. So in a matter of three weeks, immediately, I was thrust into working from home and making room to accommodate quarantine schooling for an indefinite period of time. Yikes! My reaction? I think I did what I now believe several people did. I reached for all of the low-hanging fruits, the low-hanging emotional fruits, such as confusion, anger, fright, anxiety, and of course, sadness. What followed next? Overload. What followed next after that? Silence. So it was in this silence that I became aware of other low-hanging fruits that had been always present during this crisis. This time, it was the positive and hopeful fruits. As my other granny used to say, one finger can't kill lice. So it was as if my eyes opened and I was now able to see all the Avengers assembling from the four corners of Jamaica to fight against the spread of the potentially devastating impact of the COVID-19 virus. Help had arrived. Help had arrived for the government of Jamaica. Help has arrived for the people of Jamaica. And in several cases, the help was being provided by the people of Jamaica. I would like to say that the outpouring of support from within our very little country and also to our little country continues to blow my mind and has been helping to keep me excited and hopeful as we traverse and find a new normal during this COVID-19 pandemic crisis. So, with my eyes now opening to a new consciousness, I started to seek out other types of stories. I wanted to read more and more stories about some of the emerging heroes that had answered and continue to respond to the call from humanity to help in the fight against the COVID-19 virus. I have knowledge of support coming from several local corporate Jamaica organizations and also about some charitable organizations. Can you also believe that in the midst of this crisis that other countries have been providing support even as they too are experiencing the similar pandemic crisis? Yes, they have. So I'm going to take a moment to pick up all the well-needed support that came from some of the Avengers. Let's talk about Food for the Poor. Food for the Poor donated well-needed medications, which include scrubs and face masks to the National Health Fund. A well-needed ventilator was also donated to the Victoria Jubilee Neonatal Ward by Guardian Life Limited and the Guardian Life Foundation. The ventilator is valued at $4.3 million and you know that this is going to come in very handy. The private sector organization of Jamaica, their members across the various industries in Jamaica, in true Avenger style, they joined forces and committed to contributing a total of $150 million. This money is to be used to purchase ventilators for the hospitals that have been selected by the Ministry of Health and Wellness to handle people infected with the virus. So big up to PSOJ, big up to some of these members who came together, NCB Financial Group, the Sagicor Group Jamaica, JMMB, Scotiabank Jamaica, Sandals Foundation, and We Care Foundation. 
There's an ICD group, Jamaica Broilers Group, Restaurant of Jamaica, JP Group, Richard and Diana Stewart Foundation, GK Group, and Mustn Jamaica. Thank you so much, PSOJ members. The Jamaica Energy Partner, Western Kingston Power Partners, and the Jamaica Private Power Company, they donated over $1 million in supplies and equipment to their surrounding communities. What very good corporate citizenship they're, they're demonstrating. They donated non-perishable items, which included food, bottled water, and personal hygiene items. And this was in particular response to the needs of the communities in the seven and eight miles area. So big up to you guys. How many of you know that when school is closed during any period of time, and especially now during this quarantine period, that there are thousands of students across the island who miss out on meals that they would usually receive from the Ministry of Education and Youth under the PATH program. How many of you knew that? Well, Burger King partnered with the Ministry of Education to provide 4,000 sandwiches each day to some of these PATH beneficiary students. The Wisinko Group also provided cases of fresh light orange juice and KFC also provided one-piece box meals for 600 PATH beneficiaries distributed equally among the ministry's six regions. Wow! I'm sure that the parents and these students were in such appreciation for this generosity. The Wisinko Group, we're learning, they donated bottles of water and Vitamol beverages to the Ministry of Health and Wellness Foundation for delivery to the respective health authorities. You know what they wanted these items to be, who they wanted them to be targeted towards? To the healthcare workers. The healthcare workers who are on the front line for working such long hours, they wanna make sure that they remain refreshed and also nourished with these beverages. So thank you Wasinka Group for stepping up when the government made a call to hoteliers for additional rooms that would be needed for those who might need to be quarantined or go into isolation, we had Jake's Hotel stepping up and accepting the call for support. Jake's has offered their 65 rooms facility for the period of quarantine that the government might need it for. There was also a 60,000 square foot facility that's the old jockey factory, which sits on about 22 acres of land in Lucy, Hanover. This was handed over to the government as well. This facility, my friends, can easily accommodate 300 people. This is amazing, amazing Avenger support. Thank you so much, Dr. Guna Mupuri. The Chinese community in Jamaica, they also answered the call for businesses to help. They acknowledged that this too is their home and especially in this time of crisis in which people are losing their jobs and there's an increasing need for food and personal items. So they have come together to support their Jamaican brothers and sisters. They donated care packages of food items, masks, hand sanitizers, tissues, gloves, hand towels, and a lot of other items to a number of schools, to the police, to the fire brigade, and nurses who are serving at the Cornwall Regional Hospital. They specifically said that for the schools that they made the donations to, they're aware that the schools will need to reopen at some time in the future, and they wanted to make sure the schools had supplies on hand to facilitate the easy transition of the schools back into the community. Thank you so much. Cuba. They are also having their own pandemic crisis there, but Cuba has sent to Jamaica a team of 140 healthcare professionals. Wow! The cadre of professionals that have been sent from Cuba includes 90 specialist nurses, 46 doctors, and 3 therapists. This team has now been released from the 14 days mandatory quarantine and they have been dispatched across the island through Avenger style. The professionals are expected to reduce the level of stress that you can imagine is being experienced among the workforce in the health facilities. Thank you so much to the Cuban government. You know, I had a work colleague that used to tell me that bird can't fly upon one wing. Well, while he was not talking about a crisis situation of this manner, we can't argue the irrefutable benefits that partnerships produce. So can I tell you? that there are many, many more Avengers stories just like the ones that I just highlighted that has come to support this fight that we're in. 
the elected government of Jamaica, they can't fight this pandemic alone. The success in curbing the spread of COVID-19, it depends heavily on every person in this beautiful country. Consider yourself as one of the frontline workers in this season. Consider yourself as a part of the solution. Consider yourself as part of the hope that Jamaica needs at this time. Become the help that Jamaica needs in this crisis. So today, I focus on the positive and hopeful fruits that are present in this crisis. I focus on providing help to the communities that I am a member of. I focus on doing my part to comply and support the authority of our government. Because as my granny used to say, one hand can clap.